look at that. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. They talk about it's supposed to be a storm or something. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Could have been a lot worse, man. Oh. Nasty. Let's start her up, baby. Woo. That sounds so good, man. Don't you agree? Man, that sounds so good, man. What I'm going to do while I'm driving, man, this video, I'm going to make it the five things I don't like about the 2020 scat pack challenger man and you know me i really don't dislike really too much of anything like i had the 2016 dodge challenger sxt before this for a couple years so I'm, I'm pretty used to everything but for this 2020 scat pack dodge challenger the the, the first thing and y'all forgive me for not looking at the camera i'm driving so but uh, the first thing that i don't that I guess is a dislike is the gas I would say now it, it's it's not as bad as I thought it, it really depends on how how you drive with me I pretty much like when I go to work and things like that I run it on um I run it on eco mode so I don't know if that really helps or not but I, I gotta check out the miles per gallon but it, I, my job is probably from where I'm at it's probably like I don't it's like a 20 minute ride so it's probably like 15 miles or 20 miles or something like that so i mean i base it on like a five day week and i would say that um really i could put probably like 20 or 25 and that'll get me through the whole week just to work and, and back to where i'm at you know if i just stick to that and it's really all about the way you drive like even, even when i had my 2016 sxt challenger um that that would kill gas i mean if you if you drove real hard like some people like to always like you know like to always straight from the line you know straight off of a red light just you know like floor it and stuff like that and then when you run in your other modes your sport mode your track or your custom or whatever like that and then that, that's gonna kill gas obviously because like you, you want it so it really it really depends i mean like when i'm on my way to work i'm not really focused on you know like the performance part of the car i'm really just driving and cruising like that, that's kind of like what i do actually the next dislike would be i would say the size of the car um even when i had my 2016 sxt like i never parallel parked and like if I would go to a mall or anything, like always park where there's no one next to me and things like that. I mean, you, you get used to it after a while, the car, you know, like being so big, you know, they, they call it a boat, but that, that's what you really get it for, you know, at the end of the day, but you, you get used to it. But I guess I, I would say that like, you know, sometimes it's not like you can't fit in tight parking spots. It's just, you gotta like turn wide and stuff like that. And I used to drive like, uh, trucks for a minute too so i'm used to stuff like that but i would say that's the thing so like you know if it's little tight spots that you know if you if it's your first time driving a challenger that probably be something like that so i guess you could count that as one of the dislikes um, the next dislike i would say i don't know this is real hard for me like i said I, I, I love the car like i'm used to everything but i don't know this is gonna take a while what, what i what i have so far all the gas gas mileage um and how big the car is and i'm trying to think y'all this is how i might only be able to give y'all two dislikes um i don't know i mean I, I guess you could say my third dislike would be the, the 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 visibility i guess like when you when you when you look back at your blind spot you can't really see because of that pillar so I, like I said, I'm I'm really stretching to find dislikes, y'all. But what I did, I bought you know those the mirrors that you get from like um 
the, the car park stores and like, you know, to the little mirror to see the um the little blind spots. So I don't even turn my head, I just look at the little mirrors. And, you know, but I would say that part I guess. Like I said, I'm 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 reaching, y'all, you know, to find these dislikes. Uh yeah, I guess my, my fourth dislike would be the interior, right? I know they're keeping it classic. You know, they keeping it old school, but the, the reason why I say that, I mean, I have like the base model seats, like as you can see, the um, the, the cloth hounds tooth seats, which is like, or Heinz tooth, whatever you call it, hounds tooth seats. And I know that's the base model. I know you could get like the, um, you could get the, I don't know if it's Alcantara or Suede with the leather on the side and black, and you could get the red seats the red sway or the red alcantara or sway whatever that is and you could get like the leather on the sides but um i, I think they could do better on the, the packaging i think they could do better better on the packaging man i, I feel like uh no but but like like i was saying man they could do better on the on the seats to me like because it's not a lot of options to really pick from a sec except for those three like with the with the rts and the sxts and the gts i i seen the gt i'm sorry sxt 2020 the other day msrp 38,000 with red leather seats man so i'm like i don't understand why they got so many options for those cars and like for the scat pack there's not that many options i mean even, even the hellcat like you could get leather seats I don't know if, if, if maybe if you go into Dodge, you could request a certain type of seat or something like that. But when you go on Dodge website, you try to build a car. And I only seen these come like in the three trims I just said with the seats. That's all I ever seen. So y'all comment or send me a DM and let me know if I'm talking nonsense. But that's what I would say, man. Oh, yeah. And I was thinking my fifth dislike is in this car, I would say it's the backup camera, man. Uh, like I said, and I said earlier, I don't really have dislikes like that. But, like, I love the car. You know, so I'm, I'm reaching to find dislikes. But I, I would say the backup camera, man. I, I feel like the backup camera on these are, I, I don't think it's HD. Because it look, it's not really clear. And, like, the, the, the little... I don't know what you call the thing that it, I have to show you that that guides you in. It be off like it's like a, a proximity sensor or something like that. But it's it's kind of off. It's like I, I don't know. It's like if you have your wheel turned, like say if you're going straight back and not behind you, but your wheel still turned. I, I, I don't know. I guess like wherever the wheel is turned, that's where the sensor's pointing. So it's like, it, it starts to go off. But anyway, it ain't so much that's the clarity. In my 2016 Challenger, I actually installed a, a HD backup camera because it, it didn't come with that. And it was like way clear. Like it was smaller. It was like one of those, the ones you uh, get installed that the backup camera's on the mirror, but it was way more clear. So I think, I, like I said, I'm not sure. I don't think that camera's like HD. I think they could put, they could put like an HD camera or something or more better backup camera i know it's not like a big deal i mean you know but like i said that's my fifth dislike that that's all i could find man and those with, with those dislikes i was just reaching man i was just reaching so that's all i got for you